So Joseph Stalin failed to keep Russia together, but that's where I, D-Shaky, come in to put things back in their rightful place. So today we play as Omsk, a small Russian state. In real life, I don't think they were ever really up to much, I, I, don't, I don't really know. But today we will claim much more than just Omsk. I don't even really know what's going on here, honestly. Like, all I know is that we need to unify this place somehow. Uh, let's go with the last days of Comrade Karbachev. While we're doing that, we can do some research. We'll need some good weapons if we're ever gonna win, at least some good infantry divisions. I don't know, there's a lot of complicated stuff in this mod, so I'll just focus on making some good regular infantry. I don't even know what artillery. We'll, we'll just use the most normal artillery. Just looking around, we have a lot of small other random states. We're all about even, I would say. But yeah, if you look far enough to the west, though, you have the dreaded Unity Pact and the Triumvirate, and to the east, we have the Co-Prosperity Sphere. Terrible, and no power to counter them anymore. Only if we could restore that Russia. Oh, we only have four, four divisions, yeah. It was one thing, thought the old general, to dread the failure of your greatest aspirations, to know the quiet burning of doubt in your gut. But it was quite another thing to look the twisted remnants of your dreams in the eye every day. Um, wow, uh, okay, well this is not the um, best situation right here. Um, it looks like there's a lot of corruption and cruelty and stuff in Omsk. It's not to the best place. Maybe he's gonna try to fix it. He's like 82 years old too, which is crazy. I, I don't even know why he can be a field marshal. 82, wow. This guy. Well, once more into the breach, I guess, yeah. Stupid successor named in the stupid unity pact that everybody already hates. This is uh, ridiculous. Wow. Stupid. Duh, whatever. <laughs> who, who cares? Wait, we're receiving an ultimatum from what this place. Pavlodar. They, they think they're better than us. They think they can get away with whatever they want. But no, we're gonna, we're gonna fight back. We're just gonna wait for the last second so we can get our divisions over there. Wait, another ultimatum. <laughs> Wait, why are we, why are we getting so many ultimatums? Yep, an enemy defeated. Lots of political power, stability, and equipment. Whoa, didn't even realize we border Tomsk. It's like Omsk, but with a T. Oh, and they're weaker than us, kind of, at least military-wise. Huh. And the current geographical situation is not ideal, but Omsk does have one great strength. Industry. <laughs> well, I guess we kind of need some manpower too, but the industry. If we have the industry advantage, we have everything. Oh, and I realize our ideology isn't even regular nationalism, it's just ultra-nationalism. Uh, I guess we have to have some, you know, um, powerful idea to stop this. Uh, well, I feel like this is just gonna stop itself, though, you know, from my knowledge of the mod, but it's, it's okay. So we kind of have an underground industry going on. Oh, that's nice, free civilian factory and a lot of infantry equipment. That almost fills up our stockpiles. Yeah, only 10 away. Oh, Tomsk? Losers, let's go up there and teach them who's boss. And they're defeated, yeah. Oh, and we do have some army experience. I could kind of start making the divisions a little better. Oh yes, people are fleeing to Omsk. Yes, come here, my fellow countrymen, yeah. Lots more manpower, that's great. We, we need as many men as we can get. And we could probably put another infantry in these. Oh, but regular infantry require anti-tank. Okay, we'll put a light infantry in there. Come on, it looks like he has a nice little speech on his birthday where he's like, don't be loyal to your superiors but the Black League itself. Um, okay, well, this is definitely something interesting, the Black League, hmm. I guess we'll just continue. We're almost to falling snow, so <laughs> the end draws near. I'll end the death of Karbachev. I guess now our good old friend Yezov is the leader, the one general guy. Is he now like a field marshal or something? Yeah, he's a field marshal. Wow, interesting. Hmm. Guess the leader just becomes a field marshal, but yeah. No new focus tree yet, so I guess we'll just chill for a while. I, I don't know. The sun went down and snow fell, first in a gentle dusting, then as a thick, heavy blanket. The cool breeze became a frigid gale. Still, Yazov sat, waiting, his fingers collapsed together, breathing with every shiver and shock. An aide, braving through the harsh weather, came beside him. Sir, the aide said, it might be time to rest. You will sadden Comrade Karbachev deeply if he returns. Yazov stood. Gathering all his strength to speak amid the din of the storm, Yazov spoke in a weak and broken voice. Yes, I will rest now. 
Thank you, comrade. Okay, cool. I don't know, Yazal, he seems like a nice guy. Probably one of the good guys. Kind of crazy, I guess. There's like revolts in some of our cities. When there are revolts in two of your three cities, um, yeah, n not not good. But it's it's okay for now. Um, And we can get another civilian factory, which will be nice. I don't know if I'll use it to trade for stuff. Because even if we have the right materials, we have minus... 62% factory output, which really ruins everything. Because even with three factories on artillery, we're only making 4.33 a month. Actually, we have a negative 147% construction speed modifier, which means we can't use factories to construct anything, so I guess we're just forced to use them for trade. It looks like some of the people in our cabinet are on, like, weird trials. Um, he was obviously doing something bad for the state. Yeah, I don't even care if he was committing a crime. Let that, that's a crime in of itself, destroying the economy like that. Yeah, the new guy is way better. We're gonna be producing way more stuff now. Wait, why is Poland over here? That doesn't make any sense. Did they, like, flee Poland and set up their new government here? Nawa Polska. It's probably like New Poland, I, I would assume. Yeah, I'm deploying more divisions. Maybe we can defend against these guys. They've raided us twice and won both times. Yeah, and we're gonna easily win now. It must have just been they must have had five and we had four or something. Yeah. And we have two factories that I guess, I don't even know. What do we do with them? We can't use them to build things and we already have all this we could ever want. Oh yeah, and the Unity Pact is gone. And the Triumvirate. I always hated those guys. I'm. This is great. Yeah, Germany's... <laughs> in a four-way war between all of the Mustache Man's successors. It'll be interesting to see what happens, I guess. And the Luftwaffe sadness demonetizing has ended. Wow, uh, I think that means we can actually build stuff now. Almost. Oh, we're 2% we're away from being able to build stuff. <laughs> Yay. Well, what's power tools? Oh, it's like a level of how advanced our equipment is. And we're at power tools, which is the second worst, so... Yeah, we need to kind of increase that. We're so close to being able to use our factories. Oh, but if we do construction subsidies, we get plus 15% construction speed. And wait, have I been like unbuilding it? Is unbuilding factories even possible? I, I didn't think it was. Wow, and guys, we got the first batch of some new amazing tanks never before seen in Omsk. Yeah, but I doubt we're gonna use them because we can't really produce them. They cost way too much to produce and our production's already bad enough. We can barely produce anti-tank for our divisions. But you know, it's nice. This is like the origin story of the Chad tanks. Maybe one day we'll have Chad tanks as Omsk. The Omsk Chad tanks. The truly greatest Chad tanks. What I want to do is I want to put more artillery in them. We just don't have enough artillery. <laughs> Maybe one day. That's my dream. My dream of a day where I could put artillery in my divisions as Omsk. Oh, perfect, and this focus actually gives us the artillery and the anti-tank we need. I guess say hello to my 20 wits, my beautiful first 20 wits. With these, I'll unite the first parts of Russia. Gods of the North? And it looks like there's like some weird leader figure, they call him Father. Oh. Oh. Huh. They're, they're probably gonna be a strong enemy. Actually, no, they're, they're really weak. And we've done it, boys. We're at war at last. Oh, it's so hard to get into a war in this mod. Oh, but finally, yeah, it's time. We have more divisions than them, so we can just kind of run circles around them, which makes it easy. Why do they have a division here? House shall be able to send volunteers to our nation? Why are they sending volunteers? And why does it say shall be able? Wait, and we won! Yes, our name is bigger. The weak country to the south of us is starting to get kind of big, though. That's it's a little scary there. Oh, and we apparently have also captured Lenin's body. It's, it's kind of confusing why, but yeah, I guess we can just leave him be, yeah. We do have decisions to core stuff that cost political power, but I'm having political power issues right now. I'm losing political power whenever I'm doing a focus, so, you know, I have to try to save any that I can get. Okay, and into the north, these guys somehow managed to get a couple more divisions, so now it's more fair, but I think we should win still. And they're done. Look, that's a pretty big Omsk. We now have quite a bit of states. It's kind of nice. And after taking out those countries and integrating them, equipment and manpower is starting to rise. We can really start 
Finally building a real army. Six more good 20 widths we can afford, and we got planes from one of those countries. But anyway, that's all the time I have left. Of course I'll continue this series, maybe. Hopefully. I, I definitely hope I continue it. This is the most interesting country I've played as in TNO. Yeah, so I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode.